Hi, I'm Katie, an Associate Journalist for TPAS Cymru. And at TPAS Cymru, we really see the importance of young people and how crucial young people's voices are in creating change in the world. At TPAS, we agree with a quote, progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. So now, more than ever, it is down to young people to create changes and opinions to spur on progress in their communities. Evan is from Pontypridd and is the local representative for the Welsh Youth Parliament. He's already been involved in many campaigns that bring about change in young people's lives, like the campaigns to give the 16 and 17 year olds in Wales the opportunity to vote. Among other things, Evan co-presents a weekly Welsh language radio show at his local radio station, GTFM. So we're going to discuss your thoughts on how young people can be the creators of change. But before we start, is there anyone who's influenced you in being an example of seeking change? Um, I think the show is in the sense of Ellen Jones. I met her uh, a few years ago when I was doing lots of events at the Senate, uh, the Assembly, sorry, and that sort of thing. And I think um, she really believed in young people and the change that young people can bring so she was very inspiring to me and I think um, I don't know I was always brought up with my parents saying like uh, we're talking about the news or whatever and um, they were always saying like um, you have to try and make the world a better place in your lifetime so I think that's kind of where it stems from yeah so what would you do to create change in your local community um I would create a more sustainable um, local community. So uh, we tackle things like climate change and plastic pollution because obviously climate change is something that's going to affect young people for the rest of our lives. You know, it's here to stay. Um, and the other thing would be the economy. I think like a third of children in Wales live in poverty and I think that is wrong and I think that more should be done to help people who live in poverty in Wales. I didn't actually know that, that's, um, that's quite shocking really. Um, mm. So why do you think your community or the wider communities in Wales need that change? Um, I think Wales needs to be a place in the future where you know, young people can see a future. You know, if, if you have a talented young person, they might look elsewhere, they might see more opportunities in England or Scotland or many other countries in the UK. Um, and people need to see Wales as an exciting place to live. And I think we need more confidence as a nation. I feel like people, uh, a lot of people I know in Wales but you know people get offered opportunities and quite often people say no because they don't believe they can do it so i think we need to be a stronger more confident nation and say our opinion on more things um but yeah i i believe fundamentally wales is a caring nation and um we tend to pull together um we like you know unity we like going to see the rugby together we you know we we have a strong sense of national identity and I think that that is very important. So what advice would you give to another young person about creating change? Um, I think have conversations with your friends and your parents and anyone who's around really about things that are in the news, to, you know, try and um, validate your opinions in a way, see what you think and see two sides of an argument. And then if there's something you're passionate about, then write to politicians and people in power. Um, people tend to think that that doesn't have any effect, but really, you know, if a lot of people do that, it really builds up. And the main thing is to put pressure on politicians because once they see, you know, something stacking up in the emails, then they tend to want to talk about it. <laughs> um, I think another thing you could do is use social media and make posts on Instagram, on your Instagram stories. That's been quite trendy recently. So, you know, keep doing that. Um, join school councils, youth forums, um, student newspapers. You can write stuff for that if, you know, if you have an opinion you want to share. Um, and I think the most important thing is if you want to see change, then is to vote for whoever is offering that change in the election, especially seen as 16 and 17 year olds can now vote in elections. So do you think that social media would play a part in changing your community or would you use a different tool 
to spur on the change? I think social media is a very powerful tool uh, to facilitate change. You know, we've seen it around the world with, um, you know, crazy changes happening. Our world has changed so much in the last 10 years. Uh, we use social media so much and in a way we're quite addicted to it. Um, and everyone is. So you could, you know, use that to your advantage in a way if you want to facilitate change. Everyone's always looking at social media so you can say your opinion. The one thing about social media is there's people saying their opinion all the time everywhere, sometimes without backing up what they think. And I think social media can be a dangerous place, especially if you're vulnerable, because I think people can take advantage of you on social media. Um, I think we need to be wary about how our data is used. But um, I do think that definitely in the 21st century, we should be using social media as a force for good. So as you're a member of Youth Parliament for Wales, can you tell us a bit more of what it's about, what you do? Yeah, so this is the first ever Welsh Youth Parliament. And um, yeah, we're here to represent young people and say our opinions. So. Um, we are basically another body that scrutinizes the Welsh government and it's somewhere where young people can have a say and raise, you know, their concerns. So what is your personal role within the Youth Parliament? Uh, well, I represent Pontypridd and um, I, I represent the young people here so um, people can text me or talk to me or email me or whatever um, if they have any concerns or worries or something they're passionate about and this can you know I can raise these things then with the Welsh Youth Parliament and um, we are currently in the process of writing a report uh, so we've got a report for mental health a report for plastic pollution and a report for life skills in the school curriculum and uh, then the government will read these reports and we have recommendations, we'll have recommendations for them. And hopefully the government will accept our recommendations. Amazing. So how did you go about joining the Youth Parliament? What was the process of that like? Well, I first uh, heard about the Youth Parliament being made in the Eisteddfod, um, which is a you know, big Welsh festival. And I heard that there was youth parliament forming and, you know, I was quite passionate about things like politics because it was the period where Brexit was, you know, in the news every day. And it was also a period where I felt nothing had, because Brexit was, you know, talked about so much, nothing had been done about the environment and no one was talking about the environment. Um, and that got me particularly, especially after watching Blue Planet 2, actually, by David Attenborough that got me particularly riled up and I feel like all the young people around me were constantly you know saying their opinion and um, they had thoughts and you know everyone seemed to dismiss young people's thoughts whereas actually you know young people do have opinions on lots of these things and I just don't think young people's voices were being heard at all and yeah I wanted to be someone who could represent young people in somewhere where people may listen. Amazing. So how do you think that this is going to, like being in the young parliament, is going to affect your future? Um, I think I, it's increased my confidence, I think is one thing. I am more confident to say what I think, say my opinion. Um, it's given me sort of a voice and an influence, um, which has been great because people actually have seemed to listen to me. I'm not just another teenager, you know, with a moody opinion or whatever. People tends to you know if you're a member of the youth parliament people actually oh okay that's what the member of the youth parliament thinks um and in terms of my future i think yeah confidence is the main thing it's given me confidence that i can actually affect things in wales um and the future and society so yeah um so has your parents careers in broadcasting influenced you in your decision to be part of the youth parliament I suppose that they have, in a way. Um, I don't think it's necessarily because of the broadcasting, but obviously they're involved in the world of news. So, um, you know, the discussions about the dinner table, talking about the news and what's going on. 
and you know we're all quite passionate about you know different things and different uh, policies and um, uh, topics and obviously just talking about it and just thinking about it um, you know one day you might to come across something you're really passionate about and that's definitely influenced my decision yeah to join the youth department. Um, so what are your future plans? Um, my ambition is to become a doctor when I grow up um, and yeah who knows maybe I'll become an AM one day. <laughs> Finally, is there any advice you would have for young people in Wales right now? Um, obviously, we're in the midst of a global pandemic, so I think it's important to stay positive and, you know, keep an eye on the news. I think that's important to, you know, think critically about what's being said. Do I agree with this? Could this be done better? Um, think about maybe the relationship between Wales and the rest of the UK and all of these sorts of things. Um, but I think a big thing is if you can vote next May, you should definitely mo vote. Um, and yeah, believe in yourselves. Okay, thank you, Evan. Thank you.